Abracadabra, show. Yeah, it's nothing. Show. Young Spree's back. Young Spree's back. Got all these bitches screaming that Young Spree's back. All eyes on me. Remember picture me rolling, hanging out of a window of a car that is stolen. Jennifer here for Mixtape Madness and today I'm here joined with none other than real than most as seen as his t-shirt, Young Spray. How are you today? The word. <laughs> you I'm feeling cool. alright? Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so Twitter has been popping off with questions that they all want to ask you and they all want to know. Yeah. So you ready? I'm ready. Ready for the questions? Okay. We can ask you anything? Anything. Well, okay. I'll see, I'll see, but come. Okay, with a reason. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Okay. First question that they want to know. It's quite a nice one to ease into. Okay, was the music something you always wanted to do as a child? As a child? Starting off as a child. Or was it something you kind of grew into or you always knew that music was your passion? As a child, like school days. School days? Well, you know, from then times? Well, to be honest, school days, I was more thinking about how, how I'm going to um, be richer than the next man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? It's like... When we was in school, the type of people I used to look up to yeah. was like maybe the wrong, the wrong, wrong, wrong models. Mm -hmm. like I used to look up to people with like big cars and jewelry and stuff like that. So I was just trying to, I just wanted to be richer than them when I was there. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear you. So really, did start from a young age. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. I used, I used to like music. Though. I used to listen to a lot of music. Yeah. Like Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Come you on. like a bit of Snoop Dogg? Come on, school days. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. School that days. One. <laughs> Walkman. Walkman. Oh, I remember the Walkman actually with the tapes. Yeah, your mum. Yeah, my mum. My mum thought I was listening to something good. I was listening to Snoop going mad. Oh wow, well, that's yeah. how we all were when we were younger. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Okay, second question I have for you that someone's written it. It says, "Prison was the very factor which provided us with that real life music, and that was conveyed in really the most in yeah. Volume One and Volume Two and Hard to Kill." With your recent departure from prison. Can we expect to hear some of that same heartfelt emotion put in RTM3? Or will we opt for more kind of like a mainstream type of approach that quite a few people are doing now? Yeah, no, really the most free will is the mixtape in it, so yeah. it's still going to have that underground type of edge to it still, because it's just me just saying what I'm saying in it. I'm not really looking at them like, yeah, these are tracks I'm going to put out on the radio. This is just like for the old school spray fans, just me saying what I'm saying. But I wouldn't like to think that it's only prison yeah. what um, people think. Help me make really the most one and two and hard to kill guys. It's not just prison, it's life in general. It's more than that. Yeah, it's life in general. Like, a lot of chapters made in prison, but a lot of chapters made on the road as well. No, I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Okay, so another question that people want to know is they want to know about your decision to pursue a solo career even though you had the great success of being in North Star. So would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't a decision more than it was just a fact that we just continued making music on our own because a lot of things reached us, obstacles, China got pregnant, yeah. she was doing movies and whatnot. I had no other option but to just continue making music. Yeah. But obviously, like I'm still North Star, still rep North Star. Yeah. This young space, like Asha D, like when, when like the industry went mad on so solid and mashed up so solid, what could he do? He could just still keep making music and that, but it's still so solid, but it's Asha D in it. But that's how I look at it. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a decision more than it was forced upon me. And, to be honest, like a lot of people say, yeah, we did have a great success with Northstar, but we had a lot of pressure as well from the industry. It's like they, did, they didn't want to let us in because we was making good quality music, commercial music, pop music, whatever you want to call it. But it was good and the underground was accepting it. They closed us down. So it's like I'm sitting in my room thinking, hold on, we're making the music they want us to make. They're not letting us go through, so I might as well just talk a madness then, car. You're not letting us go through. And the reason being, I think, is we was just too real. No yeah. matter if we're singing or doing commercial tracks, they were just like, no, don't try that. <laughs> you get me? Like, we was just yeah, too real. But at the end of the day, they they forced that decision upon upon me, upon all of us, to be honest. But yeah, no, 
watch this space car. You're gonna have to hear something from us soon. Yeah. yeah Are you hearing that, guys? Come on, something man. will be coming soon. Come on, man. Yeah. Come Can on. you say when, or you just huh? sometime in the near future? Come on, North, like North Star from Armour Live, China's alive, Seas alive. You've yeah. Got North Star in it. Cause it's only two people. It's not like it's bare people. You get me? It's not yeah. 150 people. That's so so. It's two people. So it's the media what made it look like a gang. Yeah. To us, it was music. Me in China, C1, it's not no North Star gang or nothing like no, that. Nothing like it's that. just three people making quality music. I hope you guys heard that. That's an exclusive right here. Come that on. there might be a reunion coming up very, very soon. You Come heard on. it here first. <laughs> um, next question, actually. Um, okay, so in your opinion, we want you to tell us the qualities needed to obtain to officially be, as your t shirt says, realer than most. And what kind of artist would you say in the scene right now, apart from yourself, obviously, mm. would you think has these kind of qualities that will make them realer the most, as your t-shirt says? Well, boy, to me, realer the most just means if you're just being real to yourself, innit? Yeah. Like a man that just wakes up and goes to work, he knows that's what he's doing, he's got to do that to pay his bills, he's got to buy his youth snappies or whatever. That, to me, he's being realer the most, because he's just doing what, he, like, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, innit? A fireman, whatever you're real or the most, this is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. People that are going mad, they're in their bedroom, they're writing madnesses or whatever. Obviously, they're not real or the most because you're a madman, isn't it? You're in your mm -hmm. bedroom, you're writing madnesses. You're going studio, you're going mad in the studio with your madness. <laughs> you're a madman, you're yeah. not real or the most. But that's not real. That's not real. No. That's mad. But obviously, this is how life is, isn't it? It's yeah. probably the same over America. You've got madmen, they're in there, they're making millions. All the time you hear them on the Come news. Come on, they're making millions, all of them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you'll have to ask them, because I don't really, I don't know them, innit? And the, the people I do know, I can vouch for. You see what I'm saying? Car. Obviously, they're on the road, didn't you? Got yeah. Gigs, DV, them are on the road. I couldn't say they're not on the road because they're on the road, didn't it? They're so on the road. They're, they're people that you see as real the most. They're on the road, didn't it? Yeah. So it's road music, innit? Judge are like, man, not on the road, didn't it? It's not like we're not industry guys, like, we, we didn't grow up wanting to do music or nothing like that. This is what we've chose to do to try and get ourselves out of a situation, what we don't want to be in, what we don't want our people to be in. You see what I'm saying? As far as all the other artists, I don't know them. Yeah. You understand? I don't really know them. Obviously, a couple of West by Fuse and that, they're on the road. You understand? That's really the most. Like, other artists, I can't really, I can't judge them, innit? Because I'm not in their bedroom or in their thoughts. You understand? So, I can't judge them. But to me, really the most doesn't necessarily mean you're the hardest guy out here or yeah. you do crime or you bust your gun or you stab people. It's just being real to yourself. Isn't it? I hear that. And you definitely really the most for yourself, Come right? On, man. Oh, 100%? Come, Come on, 100 and... All the time? 100 and mad per 100 and everything. And All, the time. <laughs> All the time. Babes. All the really time, babes. Really the most of them. Young Spree's back. Arms. Young Spree arts. Bullet for them. Yeah, I've got a bullet for them. Bullet for them. Put your guns up if you know you got a bullet for them. Bullet for them. Yeah, I've got a bullet for them.